Hello, everybody. Live from California. I'm here with, uh, this is what it takes to make up Jared's spot. You need three people here. Uh, but essentially, I'm in California with my brothers. To my right, Isaac, Hoodie, and Levy. They're going to help me with partial wine pairing. Uh, this this uh, voice has nothing to do with how much of a good time I'm having. This is really just coming down with something. But here we are, and uh, we're going to go ahead and talk about the Parsha and drink some wine. So this week's Parsha talks about, it opens up with uh, the oil that was used on the menorah. It talks about a lot of the clothing that the Kohanim and the Kohen Gadol wore. And it finishes off with some uh, sacrifice stuff and incense and all that good stuff. So... To pair with this week's Parsha, guys, uh, what do you say? What There's, do we got here? We got the Morad pomegranate wine. Oh, nice. Uh, oh, the cool. pomegranates, as you guys probably know, were on the uh, the me'il, the apron of the Kohen Gadol, um, together with gold bells. Gold bells and pomegranates. So we're going to go ahead and, and try this. And uh, pair it perfectly with this week's part. We'll save some for later, so we'll enjoy this for Shabbos. All right, guys? This is actually made from 100% pomegranate. Uh, so it smells like pomegranate and it tastes like pomegranate. And Moran makes a bunch of different flavored wa uh, wines out of different different fruits. One of my favorite is the lychee, the watermelon. Some of them you can't get here in the U.S. You can only get at the winery. But L'chaim. L'chaim. Yeah, is he getting anything other than pomegranate here? Yeah, that's a pomegranate in a bottle. <laughs> pomegranate in a bottle. It's very good. You have to drink this chilled. Girls use it for mixed drinks. It's very sweet. Sweet, yeah. Yeah, kind of reminds me of uh, the raisin Concord grape juice, which is just delicious. That's because you haven't, <laughs> drank, you haven't drank sweet wine in a long time, probably. Right. Yeah, this would be great for uh, sangria in the summer mm -hmm. or pay over Pesach. Mm -hmm. when this is chef, chef Hoodie Riven, so we're going to get some really good notes here. Go yeah, on. this would be great for Pesach if you were looking for something uh, to kill your hangover after the Seder. <laughs> uh, for breakfast, you make a little sangria, you know, go nice with eggs. Um, yeah. That's good. And Isaac? <laughs> Uh, goes good with anything. When you're coming to pomegranates, the high antioxidants in there are just a real plus. Uh, living in California, pomegranates, uh, we eat them every single day. So if you can't run to the grocery store, just go down to the wine cellar, grab this out, and just drink. Perfect. So this is, yeah, and I definitely recommend visiting uh, Morad when you're in Israel. A lot of fantastic stuff to taste, especially if you're into mixed drinks. And like every one of their wines tastes exactly like the fruit. It's like authentic. It's just fermented alcohol. Great stuff. All right, guys. Um, what I else? I probably should mention that. It, what time is it uh, right now? Uh, West Coast? East Coast? Yeah, yeah. Uh, local time. Local time. It's just after 10 a.m. It's just after 10 a.m. And this is this goes down real smooth in the morning. I gotta say. <laughs> it's, yeah. a, it's a wake and drink. <laughs> yeah. All right. right. But this is what you, this is the sacrifices you make when you work and you're uh, you're on vacation, but you you, you know you still got it. So, Keep things going. Yeah, you were mentioning something about oil. Uh, yeah. I know the mosaic uh, by Shilo has a picture of an oil jug on it. True, and thank you, Amichai. Just happened to have this available, ready. Um, <clears throat> actually, this is a fun story. He, uh, he left the KFWE without giving me a bottle, and then I had to go to the hotel and pick it up. So I, I made the drive down, we got it, and then I'm like, you know what? As Hoodie mentioned, He's like, isn't there something about the oil? And this looks like a jug for oil. So we're going to go ahead and try that as well. And um, I'll, rinse your, I'll rinse your guys' glasses. <clears throat> and we're still here. <laughs> I'm going to stick with my coffee. All right, here. coffee for you. But here we go. We're trying the Shiloh Mosaic. This is a fantastic wine. I know from before, and I've had this a few times, but this is actually a, um, a 2016, so it's relatively young. We have a visitor. Laser, come on Laser, in. Laser, come on in. Come the more, us. the merrier. This is the Cayenne. It could be a Cayenne golf. Oh, Cayenne, come on, on in. <laughs> no, you're not, not on Facebook. We're still talking about the Cayenne and all this stuff. You know, it's, uh, it's very good. You walked in. All right, so this is the Mosaic. Big wine. This is this was their flagship before they made an exclusive mosaic. Uh, so that's even a higher end wine. But this is this is a Bordeaux style wine made with Bordeaux grapes. Uh, the blend of forty two percent Merlot, twenty Cab Franc, twelve Petit Verdot, and 
Sauvignon, 26 Cabernet Sauvignon. So L'chaim L'chaim, a big, a big bold wine that can age so it's still young. It's funny, mine tastes a lot like coffee. Mm. <laughs> It's funny because a lot of Bordeaux wines have coffee, coffee components, and like it tastes like coffee. So it should taste like coffee. But right now I'm getting a lot of fruit, a lot of oak. This definitely has to sit open, um, but also age a bit. Like the the the, the profile, the mouthfeel will soften up over over the years. Yeah, a couple more hours after you wake up, it probably and, and is a little better. But after a few I more see drinks. The potential. This no, is, this is a great this wine. This is where, um, when I'm having a nice meat or a veal, this is definitely what I want right next to it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Really overpowers the mouth, then Lovely it leaves that flavor that you like. And also, Amichai, if you guys ever visit him, in Chilo Malé um, he's he, the guy makes the best lamb. And this week's partial also talks about sacrificing the lamb. So, so you know, Amichai goes very well with, with this week's partial as well. And this is um, the Shiloh Mosaic 2016. All right, guys. Um, since since we're on track here, like, what else should we, uh, any other connection? All right, you know, funny you mentioned the Menorah, which was, uh, you know, the flagship piece in the Beis HaMikdash. Everybody loved the Menorah. You know, light up the, the oil, as we mentioned. Yeah. But, but I heard it was a very floral uh, look to it. You know, all yeah, that they have gold, flowers. flowers all over it. You and know what? I actually have a wine with flowers. <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> the Capsana is floor de floor. Grenache. All right. This not is a, Not only is it floor de floor, it drink all the whole bottle. You're on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> and this, uh, this wine is a Spanish wine. <clears throat> We're still going. There's two floor de floors. Um, this one is called Primavera. Uh, it's made with the uh, Grenache grape, and then there's a Samso, which is Carignan. Um, beautiful bottle. We actually have a promotion going on right now with Capsana stuff, so it's a great time to, uh, to be drinking this. And um, to the Riven Brothers and the California trip, Lachaim, Lachaim, Lachaim. And to Laser. And to Laser, the Kayan. Off screen. <laughs> if he was a little bit bigger, he'd be a Kayan Gadda. <laughs> oh, wow. It's delicious. It's old world wine, so you get more of the earthy notes, forest floor, mushroom, things like that. Some maybe even getting some cedar. So you're getting a lot of that that old world wine. This is a 2014 or 15, 2014. This, just from the smell, I think this one would pair great with matzo. <laughs> <laughs> with the first cup, second cup, third cup, or four cup? Like which one would you have with? Matzo and salt, not or? directly with, because that would be the broth. Mm -hmm. right. right. Depends on what you, yeah, yeah what your minig is. Um, all right, so that's that's uh, here. You go. You want to try this one? And it for sure doesn't broth the bank account. So <laughs> <laughs> definitely. Well, not with the sale we have going on now. All right, so that's the so that's three wines. I mean, you got any of these wines at home, you're good for the parsha. And there's other ones as well. If you have the Binyamina. Choshen diamond, you know, one of the one of the items that the Congo the war was the breastplate. The, the so it has that. Um, there's a few other things you can go with the chosen barrel, which is also like Choshen spelled, you know, because it's English. Uh, any of those will go. There's like so many wines you can you can drink this week, or drink any wine. Just make like there's a good connection. Um, but next week, uh, what's next week's partial, Whatever it is, to Torah the Tzava, Kisisa. We're gonna be pairing it with the Dilla Rosa. Yellow Muscat, um, and we'll talk about the connection there next week. I don't have it with me because I didn't bring it to California. It's back at the office, but uh, we'll send the link to you. So if you want to get in advance, um, it's organic wine. That whole a whole line of De La Rosa is organic. We'll talk next week more about how that pairs with the week's parsha. But today I'm just uh, really happy to be with you guys yeah, and uh, and talking all this about all this Dvar Taira. I'm learning so trip. much about wine and Yiddishkeit at the same time. It's amazing. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. And you guys are always welcome to come to D.C. and uh, help me out again. And uh, Chef Hody, thanks for your pairing uh, uh, suggestions. What are, we, what are we having tonight for dinner? Food. Food. <laughs> we'll chicken, just... I expect. Chicken? Some chicken. So we're going to eat pretty healthy here because we're in California, and that's what these guys do. Um, all right. So, L'chaim. We'll save some wine for chicken. Thanks for joining, and see you next week.